Do you know what those z -z 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 or z -z 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 patterns are for? If you do, let's be friends. If you don't, I'm gonna spill all the tea today. My name is Nikki Mars, I'm your new desire coach. I've been in this space for over 12 years and this is not talked about often enough. So I'm gonna spill the tea, but remember, this is for educational purposes only. Now, when you're using those z -z 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 or z -z 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 patterns, they actually are meant to mimic a play before the big rodeo so that you can edge your partner closer to the big ogas. They're also really fun for discipline play. Imagine putting one of these bad boys on the inside and then your partner gets the remote buzz buzz. They are going to play with that remote and change it to that zzz zzz when you've been very, very bad. And back to the zzz when you've been really good. This one's called the butterfly effect. These little ridges go on the inside. This is going to on the outside of your taco shell. And then this little guy is going to ding dong your taco bell. I always tell ladies who are struggling with desire to insert one of these bad boys and just hang out around the house, let your partner play with the remote while you guys are doing stuff at the end of the night, see what happens. Most of the time, low desire is just a matter of blood flow and not spending enough time building up to the big fun. These can really help. I've linked this one over here for you in my clickable shop, but if this was helpful, don't forget to follow along for more.